Hello guys, it's me again, Sardan Apostol. So for today's video, we are going to discuss solving problems involving properties of parallelogram. So yung mga properties na discuss natin dati, uh, gagawin natin yan, i-apply natin in, in order to solve problems. So let's try property number 1. So ano ba yung property number 1? So in a parallelogram, any two opposite sides are congruent. So, i-apply natin itong property na ito and able to solve the problem. Example number 1. So, meron tayo itong parallelogram M, A, T, H. And the measure of the side M, A is 2X minus 3. A, T is 3Y minus 15. H, T, X plus 1. M, H or H, M, 2Y plus 25. So, we are going to solve for the value of x and the measure of side MA and HT. So, paano ba natin makukuha yung x? So, kung ma-observe natin yung given natin, no, yung sides na merong variable x ay yung MA and HT. So, therefore, sila yung gagamitin natin in able to solve for the value of x. So, how? So, let us apply the property. Since the property of the parallelogram is opposite sides are congruent. So, meaning, kung congruent yung MA and HT, therefore, we can equate 2X minus 3 to 2X plus 1. So, pwede natin siyang i-equate. 2X minus 3 is equal to X plus 1. Now, to solve for X, para makuha natin yung X, So, let us combine like terms. So, meaning, katranspose natin yung x sa left side of the equation and yung negative 3 or minus 3 sa right side of the equation para masolve yung x. So, transpose x and minus 3. So, pag transpose natin, so, magbabago ng sign. So, magiging 2x minus x, then magiging 3 plus 1. Then, 2x minus x is x, and 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. So, therefore, the value of x is 4. Now, nasolve na natin yung x. Let's solve for the measure of side MA. So, since the value of side MA is 2x minus 3. So, kunin natin yan. So, all we have to do is to substitute the value of x to this expression. So, yung x dito magiging 4. So, yung 2 multiplied by 4. So, 2 times 4 minus 3. 2 times 4, that is 8, then minus 3. So, it is equal to 5. So, therefore, the value of ma is equal to 5. How about the value of ht? So again, kunin natin yung value ng h dito, which is x plus 1. So substitute again the value of x with 4. So that is 4 plus 1. So the value of ht is also 5. So makikita natin dito na yung value of ma and ht are equal. Kasi nga, the property of parallelogram is uh, opposite sides are congruent. So kung makuha mo man yung isang side, pwede mo nang i-assume na yung sukat ng MA is also the sukat of HT kahit hindi mo na-solve pero pinakita lang natin dito na they are equal example number 2 so again, ito po yung parallelogram natin MATH then the same values so ang hahanapin lang natin is the value of Y and the value of side MH and also the value of side AT so the same lang po ng example number 1 natin so since ang inahanap ay Y so we are going to take side MH and side AT kasi sila yung mga values na merong variable Y so the same process we are going to equate 
the values of NH and AT. Kasi nga, opposite sides of the parallelogram are congruent. So, equate. So, that is 2y plus 25 is equal to 3y minus 15. So, again, combine like terms. So, to transpose natin yung 3y to the left side of the equation and yung 25 to the right side of the equation. So, pag nilipat or tinatranspose, so magiging negative 3y, yung 25 naman magiging minus 25. So, that is 2y minus 3y is equal to 15 minus 25. Then, let's solve. 2y minus 3y, that is negative y. And negative 15 minus 25, that is negative 40. So, since negative yung y natin, let's divide it Oh, let's divide the uh, both equation, uh, both side of the equation, by negative y. Para maging positive. Or para maging y. So, negative y divided by negative 1 is equal to negative 40 divided by negative 1. So, that is y is equal to 40. Therefore, the value of y is 40. Now, let us use the value of y to solve for the value of mh and AT. So, yun lang po ulit. Kunin natin yung value ng MH which is 2Y plus 25. Then, substitute the value of Y to the expression. Okay. So, magiging 2 times 40 plus 25. So, 2 times 40 that is 80. Then, plus 25. So, that is 105. So, the value of MH is 105. So, the same again with 80. Kunin natin yung 3y minus 15. So, substitute the value of y. So, magiging 3 times 40 minus 15. 3 times 40, that is 120 minus 15. So, the value of 80 is also 105. So, again, kahit hindi mo na isolve to, makuha mo lang yung isang side malalaman muna yung body ng isang side by using the property of the parallelogram which is opposite sides are congruent. Okay, let us apply property number 2 in solving problems. So, ano yung property number 2? In a parallelogram, any two opposite angles are congruent. So, let us try this one. So, again, ito yung parallelogram natin. Yung parallelogram M, A, T, H. And in this case, given na yung angle M and angle T. So, the measure of angle M is 4Y plus 10 degrees. And the measure of angle T is 2Y plus 20 degrees. So, we are going to find the value of Y, the measure of angle M, and the measure of angle T. So, apply natin yung property. Sabi dyan, the opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. So, meaning, kung congruent yung angle M and angle T, we can simply equate 4Y plus 10 degrees to 2Y plus 20 degrees in able to solve for the value of Y. So, yun nga, equate natin, 4Y plus 10 is equal to 2Y plus 20. So, to solve for y, transpose 2y to the left side and 10 to the right side. So, magiging 4y minus 2y is equal to 20 minus 10. 4y minus 2y, that is 2y. Then, 20 minus 10, that is 10. So, divide both sides by 2. y is equal to 5. So, the value of y is 5. Then, let us solve for the measure of angle M. So, kunin lang natin yung measurement nito, which is 4y plus 10 degrees. Then, again, substitute natin yung value of y. So, magiging 4 times 5 plus 10 degrees. So, that is 4 times 5, 20 plus 10 degrees. 20 plus 10, that is 30 degrees. So, therefore, the measurement of angle M or angle HMA is 30 degrees. Let's solve for the value of T or angle T. So again, kunin natin yung value which is 2y plus 20 degrees. So substitute lang the value of y. 
So, magiging 2 times 5 plus 20 degrees. 2 times 5, that is 10. Plus 20 degrees, that is 30 degrees. So, they are the same. Kasi nga, opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. Okay, property number 3. In a parallelogram, any two consecutive angles are supplementary. So again, any supplementary? So yung two angles with which have the sum of 180 degrees. So apply natin yan. So again, kung uh, meron tayong parallelogram M A T H, then the, give, uh, the value of angle M or angle H M A is 4A plus 10 degrees. And the value of angle H or M H T is A plus 20 degrees. So we are going to solve for the value of A. Applying the property, which is uh, two consecutive angles are supplementary. So meaning, we are going to add A plus 20 degrees to 4A plus 10 degrees, then equate it to 180. Kasi nga, they are supplementary. So, ito yun. 4A plus 10, add natin siya sa A plus 20, then equal natin siya sa 180 kasi yung value ng 4A plus 10 and value of A plus 20, pag inat mo yan, equal to 180. So, to solve for A, again, combine like terms. So, 4A plus A, that is 5A. 10 plus 20, that is 30. So, 5A plus 30 is equal to 180. Then, transpose 30 to the uh, right side of the equation. So, magiging 5A is equal to 180 minus 30. Then, 180 minus 30, that is 100. 50. So, we have 5A is equal to 150. Divide both sides by 5 para maging A. So, magiging A is equal to 150 divided by 5. A is equal to 30. So, the value of A is 30. Let's solve for the value of or the measurement of angle M. So, meron na tayong value ng A which is 30. Again, Kunin natin yung value ng e, uh, angle M which is 4A plus 10 degrees. Substitute the value of A. So magiging 4 times 30 plus 10 degrees. 4 times 30 that is 120 plus 10 degrees. So 120 plus 10 that is 130 degrees. The measurement of angle M is 130 degrees. So up, same, same with angle H. Kunin natin yung A plus 20 degrees. So substitute the value of A. 30 plus 20 degrees. So, 30 plus 20, that is 50. So, the measure of angle T is 50 degrees. Now, but magkaiba? Kasi nga, yung uh, uh, property natin is two consecutive angles are supplementary. So, pag in natin yung 130 to 50, equal ba siya sa 180? Yes, equal sa 180 yan kasi 130 plus 50, that is equal to 180. Okay, property number 4. The diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. So, ito nga. So, in this pra parallelogram, M-A-T-H, meron na tayong uh, nilagay na diagonals. So, diagonal M-T and diagonal H-A. So, the point of intersection is the uh, point S. So, sabi niya sa property, uh, A H-A bisect MT. So meaning yung MT uh, nahati yan sa two equal parts which is MS and ST. The same with uh, MT binabaisik niya yung HA. So sa dalawang equal part HS and SA. So let us solve for the value of B. So since uh, equal naman or congruent yung MS and ST so, we can simply equate 3B minus 4 to B plus 12. So, to solve for B, transpose minus 4 to the right side and B to the left side. So, that is 3B minus B is equal to 12 plus 4. 3B minus B, that is 2B and 12 plus 4, that is 16. Divide both sides by 2. So, that is 
2B divided by 2B, 16 divided by 2, 8. So the value of B is equal to 8. Let us solve for MS. So kunin lang natin yung value ng MS which is 3B minus 4. Then substitute the value of B which is 8. So 3 times 8 minus 4. 3 times 8, 24 minus 4. That is 20. So the value of MS is 20. Now, in this case, yung MS is congruent to ST. So, to solve for MT, kailangan nating makuha yung MS and ST. Kasi ito yung buong diagonal. So, sabi nga sa property, they are congruent. So, therefore, MS is congruent to ST, meaning, kung ano yung value ng MS, that is the value of ST. Hindi na natin kailangan pang isolve to. Pero kung gusto nyo, maka-check ma natin kung tama, pwede rin naman. O, oh, ba 8 ang B. So, 8 plus 12, that is 20. So, ST is equal to 20. Then, to solve for MT, ang gagawin lang natin is to add the value of MS and ST. Singa para makuha yung buong diagonal. So, since we have 20 plus 20, so the value of MT is 40. I hope guys natuto kayo sa mga video natin. Kung hindi ka pa subscriber ng ating channel, please subscribe and pakihit na rin ang notification bell para maging updated ka sa mga future uploads natin. This is Sardana Apostol. Thank you and God bless. I'll see you on our next video.